Hi. So when we look at a Cartesian coordinate plane, we see that we have four quadrants. And in each quadrant, we know that certain trigonometric functions are positive and certain tri trigonometric functions are negative. And the way I like to remember it is all students take calculus. And what this means is that all trig functions are positive in the first quadrant. OK, and in quadrant two, this means only the sine function is positive. And in quadrant three, only the tangent function is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. This is the all students take calculus. And I always remember this, and this isn't from me or my original thoughts. This is actually from my calculus teacher when I was learning about and trying to remember where all the trig functions were positive. He said, oh, all students take calculus, right? Where all the trig functions are positive in the first quadrant, only sine in the second, only tangent in the third, and only cosine in the fourth. So this means, if I put over here in red, that in quadrant two, that cosine, tangent, are negative. And this goes for all the reciprocal functions as well. And so in the third quadrant, if tangent function is positive, then this means the sine and cosine functions are negative. And in the fourth quadrant, this would imply that sine and tangent are negative. And this also applies, again, to all the reciprocal functions of secant, cotangent, and cosecant. So in quadrant two, if cosine and tangent are negative, this would also imply that cotangent and secant are also negative. And if the sine function in the second quadrant is positive, this would imply that cosecant is also positive. So in this case, when you're looking for a, a angle where cosine and sine are negative, so cosine and sine are negative, this would be in quadrant three. If you're looking for an angle where sine is positive and cosine is negative, well, right away, sine is only positive in quadrant two. So right away, we know that's going to be in quadrant two. Where sine is positive and cosine is positive, well, in that case, we would have to have all, where all trig functions are positive, because there's no way that both of them will be positive in the same quadrant. And if we're looking for where sine is negative and cosine is positive, that would be where cosine is positive and sine is negative, and that would be the fourth quadrant. So notice we can have a whole combinations and in including the reciprocal trigonometric functions. Okay, I hope this helps.